All right, guys, I think it's officially time to go ahead and talk about the status of PUBG, where we go from here, how many players are currently playing, is the game actually dead? And I just want to go over just a few points, go over a few actual key points as well with the latest numbers between the actual last few months and see where we go from here. I mean, myself personally, I just wanted to shine some light on here just because, you know, we constantly see in the comments, people still play this game. We see streamers that, for example, haven't played the game in months or years and come back and question, wow, I can't believe people still play this game, right? Thinking the fact that the game is actually dead and no one actually plays. So we have the Steam charts up, so just keep in mind the Steam chart specifically. Now we're going to go ahead and just look at some numbers and just identify some key points as to how these numbers correlate with the game itself as well. So we have here PUBG, and I really wanted to actually start from June 2023 because from here on out, realistically, they've actually been on an uphill battle, which is actually really great for the game. So you can see here in June 2023, they had a huge significant drop of players, 19,000. And 55.5 so a 10.38 percent drop and then also in july not that significant and i'm gonna tell you why so in july they had only 0.57 drop of players when they actually went ahead and announced a brand new patch update that came this past summer so july update patch 24.2 was actually announced in the first half of july and they actually announced some really cool key crucial items that really benefits the gameplay of the game overall and shows they're actually taking a much better initiative to go ahead and get this game stabilized and much more well-rounded for all the players across the board and new incoming players that want to play the game. Like for example, realistically, right? Update patch 24.2, just some key highlights guys. This isn't everything, right? But they removed the blue chip detector, which is extremely OP. The jammer pack added to all maps, right? So that's absolutely huge. And then also they just had a full overhaul on arcade mode with its reward system, UI, and then also with the addition of intense battle royale as well. So obviously that's going to attract a lot more players and going to get former players to return back to the game as well with these nice additions to the game. And then finally, August 2023, this is where you see a huge boost in the amount of players, right? So you can see a 10.31% player increase in August. And I think the biggest reason is because of the first half of August, they announced their latest patch update, 25.1, and it included a ton of stuff. But some key highlights as well is really the new weapon at the Dragonoff that they actually went ahead and announced. It was suspended from the live server. However, they did still announce the game and people were able to actually go ahead and utilize it during the test servers of that time. And then also they announced the Aston Martin collaboration, right? And then also the Miramar, which is huge as well. Miramar map, complete overhaul with brand new locations and features. So that was huge to attract new players, former players, and current players to play even longer and more and to also just spread the word as well. So obviously that's going to attract a ton of ton of people to want to play the game. And then also in September, you also see another wave, not as much, but you do see the 0.88% of increase of players as well and i think the main reason is also because in august they did ultimately announce a brand new patch as well 25.2 which actually happened in the later half of august where the dragon off was actually officially available to use and they made some aug adjustments for more balance tactical gear completely removed from the game which a lot of players wanted it to be removed or just adjusted and then also they also did more Miramar map changes to the terrain and to some specific locations too. So that was pretty cool to see. And then October, another huge increase, right? They had a 3.69% increase here. And that was because of update 26.1, right? Now we're literally a month away from this patch already, month previous from this patch going live. But in October, they actually introduced the Erangel map overhaul with like updated locations. They added secret rooms into the mix as well for Erangel. And that goes for casual mode, rank, and um, normal matches as well. So that was absolutely fascinating. The KFC collaboration announcement, right? Surprised they never did it sooner, but it was it was there as well. And then also a huge, massive match report UI enhancements too to get better details for the end of your matches and how it went too. So that obviously is going to bring a ton of people and Erangel being a fan favorite map. That's going to attract so many former players to play the game. So obviously that's going to increase the amount of players to return and current players to continue to play the game too. And also we have the latest update that actually just happened previously for PC specifically in a couple of days 
for console but that's the november update update 26.2 and obviously you can still see here the last 30 days is still an increase even higher it's only getting even higher here 5.31 percent gain increase and that's because there's a lot of good little updates in this update not super significant but some good ones too so the aug nerfs were announced and dragon off buffs were announced so that's a little bit of a mix there the crafter pass of the black market announcement and then also they just added a new team deathmatch map and uh, just a lot of blue bomb rush arcade mode improvements too so that's the latest update we have now and in the next coming month the announcement they also did announce in this mix a brand new 8x8 map called rondo it has a mix it's kind of like destin and pago had like a baby it has a mix of like that korean culture like those uh those kind of houses but with a mix of that big city life as well that destin incorporates so obviously a lot of players are returning warming up playing getting ready for the actual release of that map as it is coming early september so obviously a lot more players are going to be playing to make sure they can go ahead and get their hands on this but to say the least in my personal opinion no the game is absolutely not dead so yes is the game sweaty yeah it's definitely absolutely sweaty full of people that are tryhards on the game but also they do have i know a, a decent amount of players that are casual players and i think personally from being a casual player myself i am very happy with the game and them the devs constantly bringing out these updates constantly listen to the community i mean should i say they listen truly to the community all the time not necessarily uh recall system just fyi but um they are at least pushing out updates and informing us of every little thing that they're doing which is obviously great for the consumers so i think they're on an uphill right here i think PUBG is still the king of battle royales nonetheless either way as well especially since h1z1 is cut off but i think honestly you know the game is on an uphill battle i think they're doing absolutely great and obviously with the amount of updates that are going to be coming I think really this game is going to be sticking around for much, much longer. And maybe we'll see it finally on that Unreal Engine 5. But drop a comment, guys, down below. Let me know your thoughts on actual PUBG. Do you think it's moving towards the right direction? Do you think some other changes need to be made significantly or quicker? Uh, because I think at the pace that they're moving, it's about one to two updates per month. Major updates, though, which is nice. And I think, honestly, for me personally, I think that's enough. And it keeps me motivated to continue to play the game. But I could be completely wrong, you know. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the game itself. But it's your boy, The Cash Critic. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys can tune in to more videos right now. Peace.